So you say stop and top and bottom. Yep. Flip a coin, got you. Yep. Got you. Someone let me know. Let you stop. Have you done it? Stop. Ah. We got underscore 803 underscore Jake. That's how it was early 2000s with the baggy jeans and jerseys, especially the throwback jerseys and wear them backwards. Because um, I put this jersey on <laughs> and, it, and it looked like a 5XL on me. And then underneath him is Star Westside. He said, great video, guys. So those two are battling out. I know someone had to throw a Dewey on the, on the, on the head. All the NBA team patches. <laughs> Word, bro. With the do-rag, all, all the white Air Forces. Nah, I, when they used to tuck in the socks. I don't know why. <laughs> I, was gonna, I used to do that too. <laughs> nah, because before, before like you started wearing like crew socks or quarter socks, you used to like scrunch the shit all the way down and then try to put it under. And you know, no shows, you know. And then like uh, they used to they put the rubber band on the jeans, right? On the jeans or or the um well the jeans yeah or I used to do it on the socks too just to make sure I really. They would like put their, they would like flip their socks so it wouldn't scrunch their forces. Damn, yo, yo, that was too funny, bro. <laughs> it, it's like you look back at it now, it's like hilarious. But like they was really thinking like but in the time, bro. Or that, in the time, that shit was smart as hell. Oh, yo, yo, I'm gonna flip my. It might be uncomfortable, but I ain't gonna crease my forces. It was smart, bro. <laughs> yeah, I was smart back then, man. All right, so 803 Jake is gonna be heads. Star West side is gonna be tails. Good luck. I feel like I should just drop it in the middle. Yeah. Ooh. It is tails. So shout out to Star West Side. He said great video, guys. We're gonna pin that comment. Can't do it from my phone, so Berwin's gonna yeah. do it. Again, shout out to you guys. YouTube, what's good? Happy Tuesday. We are here. Hope everyone had a great Memorial Day weekend. Mine was decent. Do you guys have anything to say about that? This is chill, you know, chill weekend. Seems like they all chill. They all said the same thing. Berwin, I didn't get a chance to ask you yet. Are you chill? It was chill, yeah. Everyone just chill. I think that's what Memorial Day weekend is for. Chilling. Anyways, look at all these orders we got here. Some crazy stuff. I'm on threes. Travis Scott ones. We got a brand new Last Shot 14. We got two action figures. We got some used Sakai. Some used Nyx ones. Black cements. What the fours. Brand new hair sixes. Some Prestos. Look at the, along this line here. Some beaters. Some not so beaters. We got this pair right here. The $20 band one. Made a little bit of profit on that. So I'm happy. T-shirt. Shout out to everyone ordered a t-shirt. Trainer. Some GS. Supreme sling bag which we tried to sell to like 50 people in here i feel like for 75 dollars and put it on ebay for a week and it sold for 100 so that's always good a kobe jersey just a crazy array of orders for sure you guys have anything to say black cement three always oh, i go black cement three i'm on three just put that up a lot of stuff we just put up honestly Charles Scott one a lot of a lot of bangers going out and then you get like the last shot 14 the sneaker that doesn't get enough love my personal opinion those crazy baby blue and white dunks my like 07 06 that era yellowing on them is just nice but like shoot like that you don't really see too often so shout out to the person who caught that the bean jersey you know it's another jersey that like we talk about like they were just talking about like people's folding on the supreme bag for cheaper same thing with the kobe jersey i felt like we were selling people like 150 in store and so for a little bit more online so pretty happy about that classic clyde pumas a lot of good stuff man shout out to everyone who bought a t-shirt he's just been flying pretty pretty fast was not expecting that honestly some next three some inertia so a lot of crazy array of stuff but a lot of good good stuff going out i love working here because we always sell like stuff that typically not a lot of sneaker stores sell so like pumas um we have like these old dunks i forgot what the, it says with a p the potesky or something like that so there's just a lot of new st uh, different stuff that we sell that's why i like, like working here i'll say uh those <clears throat> kind of like weird air raids i kind of like those best shoes are the bc threes and the metallic fives for sure we also sold this cool bob marley shirt that we forgot to put in the picture that kind of sucks but we've had it for quite some time and kind of glad it's selling so that's nice pretty big week ahead a lot of content to work on a lot of stuff to get ready for Florida obviously me and Berwin so that's exciting should be a pretty busy week here as well with selling buying and trading stuff like that got a hundred things to do today let's get to it okay. oh yeah I'll check that out as well I got another bag oh right, yeah you can bring that too you're not the first person to, shit is to like, like I'm at a police station whatever the fuck this shit is in the post I'm like what the fuck is that there's no parking I'm like where the fuck am I parking? So I just put it on the side. Last year we did have a parking lot. Like that whole thing used to be connected. And then like they said they were gonna knock it down and they never knocked it down. Mm -hmm. And then one day, like like a month later, we like we pulled up to work and it was like it was all knocked down. Uh you got more stuff as well. 
Where are you I from? Patterson. Patterson, alright. So I ain't that far past the drive, you know? No, that's not bad. Uh, I love seeing this jersey. Yeah, I saw him get the episode. He was talking about the family. And people don't know about that. He people don't know. He was, yeah. a, he was a bucket. See, I got to say that the book that yeah. matched the, the jersey. The Kobe. That's not the one with the basketball came in, right? Yeah. Th it is? Mm -hmm. That's the old one. That old scores inside the fucking jersey. Is this your favorite player? Of course. I don't want to give that up. Well, you know, I'm, but seeing, I'm, seeing a, I'm seeing a trend. You see the quality though. That's like, 08, right? Yeah, see, got all the scores and everything. If you want to you know, think of a rough estimate of what you'd be asking, then I could kind of dig through it. I assume some stuff we might pass on, but if you had like a price for everything. It could sound crazy, man. I'm trust new, me. I'm new to this shit. I've, I've, I mean, I've, heard, school. I've heard crazier, trust me. So whatever you think, it's probably not that crazy. 1500 Okay, cool. Let's go through and see what's up. Do you have any more stuff or this is everything? This is what I got. Okay, cool. I got more shit to talk about. Yeah, 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 okay. Where are you from? Palestine. Okay, we're not too I'm on the video? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm on the video. I'm like, yo, you really going to top shelf? I'm like, yeah, man. Damn, what happened with the, with the size? Someone ripped it off? Size ain't got bottom. It was the uh, 1500, you said? Was that with the shoes or is that just the jerseys or? That's just the jerseys. That was just the jerseys? Okay. And where you got on these? I was gonna say they used, you know, I, I did what I, I watch our videos. I did clean them all up. I didn't come in with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Two hundred. I mean like for all three, but yeah, here you go. All right, let me look through the clothing. Maybe just try to make an offer for everything, see what yeah. you think. I think the 1500 is probably a little high. There are some nice pieces in here, but a lot of it's just probably stuff that's going to like sit on our eBay store. But uh, let's see what we could do. I could probably do 650 cash in a shirt or something if you want to do that. It's probably like 650. Yeah, it's like 675. Can you hold on to these? That's the best. Yeah, honestly, like a lot of this stuff, there's a couple good jerseys. Other than that, a lot of it's yeah. gonna sit for us. We try to sell the jerseys, but they kind of just sit on the eBay for months and months and months, you know? So how much would it be if I take that Kobe out? I don't really want to do it if we take the Kobe out. I'll give it a fuck with you. I think the Kobe's are like the only things roughly to make some money on, and everything else is kind of just like flea market type stuff that we, you know, put up mm -hmm. for pretty low, you know? If you really want, I could try to work a price, but I just feel like if you take the one Kobe back, maybe I'd just start you know what I mean? It's just like not as worth it. Cause usually we would never buy this. Like we wouldn't really buy this. The burst we wouldn't really buy. Like a lot of this stuff we really wouldn't usually take. You can get six seventy five. You just want six seventy five cash. And that shirt you're saying? Come on. Uh, I hear you. I hear you. Uh, that's fine, bro. We could do that. that's, what size? Uh, large. Large. Okay, that's fine. Um, what way of payment do you have? Do you have uh, Apple Pay? I Okay, give me a second, maybe I have cash. You said large, right? No. Oh. This should be six seventy. Oh, that's your dog off the back, huh? <laughs> this should be six seventy five on account to make sure. Um uh, and then we should be all good. Alright. All good? Thank you. Man. Wanna talk shits to YouTube real quick? I got nothing to say. No, nothing to say. It's just a pleasure to come here. It's my yeah. time here, so you know me. My man. Glad you made the trip. These are YouTube. Bunch of stuff. That was a stack of jerseys. Really hard to kind of go through all that stuff right now. We'll talk about this. Jordan 21, something different. You really don't see these nowadays. And you know, we got a couple crazy jerseys in here. This stuff's gonna take a lot of work to put up. This is probably the nicest piece in the batch. Only issue with this is, is he cut off the size, which is just like really, really hurts my soul. But it is authentic and it is really rare. So it should go for some chicken. Some other stuff should work as well. That was a tough deal though, because honestly, I kind of didn't want to buy all this stuff right now. But it is what it is. He was a cool guy. He came by from the YouTube. So it was cool to see the support and uh i got something for berwin right here Ooh. so i guess i'll open this up and see what he thinks real quick some weird stuff happened man strawberry ice cream got over <laughs> a lot of the stuff that we ordered uh the ups guy had to take me outside and talk to me about it because he was like you want me to refuse these packages or do you want to take them because supposedly the loader like I, I went into the truck and there was literally a box of strawberry ice cream the bottom of it all the ice cream was coming off onto the shelf with all the packages and he was just like so you could refuse all this stuff and i'm just like dude i need it <laughs> like, so that's what we got for berwin oh i don't know what else <laughs> but it seems cool. We got that for Florida. Got everything packed up. We gotta take pictures of a lot of this stuff. Let's we'll see what else happens today. You looking to sell a trade? Yeah, I'm just looking to sell them straight up. All right. How much you want for power cords? Oh, I guess I should be prepared for this. 
Any price of mine for these? Two fifty. Okay. What about Concords? Same thing. Two fifty. Travis's, how much? Travis's, um, five. Five and are these flu games? Yeah. Okay. How much you want for flu games? Uh, flu games are in pretty good shape, like three. Okay. Eight for everything. Eight in total? Mm-hmm. I'll take it. You wanna take it? All right. Cool. What's the best way for you? Dash, we do Zell. Zell? Alright, cool. Um, I have some used stuff in the car too. I'm yeah, you can bring that as well. Right. Kind of eat this, no, that's What's cool. Up, What's going on, man? What's up, my brother? How are you? Everything alright? Yes, sir. You have price in mind for everything? Um, so I'll tell you what my mission to do today is. Yeah. I would like to get 8 or 8.5 for the wifey. Okay. Um, and I'd also like cash for everything or whatever you guys can do, mm -hmm. but I want to leave with like a four to six hundred dollar shoe as well, so I can do a raffle with it tonight. Okay, and uh, new it has to be new. What were you trying to do? Yeah. Okay. Any any size? No, no okay. I'm not particular. I don't know if like you guys have something in that range. Maybe you could work with me. I saw like Grinches that are like at like eleven, maybe. Like if we can, get, I get like I don't know if I want to do a thousand dollar shoes, but yeah. right. I'm thinking more like six hundred if you have maybe something in mind. How much um, shoes? Those are twenty two ones. Uh, if you look on the side, they're not the old ones. I think payout yeah. is two sixty on those. So I started running numbers for two sixty. Uh, yeah, so two sixty payout pay here. Payout was three here. Mm -hmm. Muslims payout is retail, which is two. Mm -hmm. um, this one, like you said, it was five fifty. Uh, five fifty five. So I was, was kind of less on that one just because it's a little bit tougher shoe to move. Um, I do know it's brand new, but we just got one. In Last one like five, so I wanted to be at five here. I was at two sixty here. I was here. Two here, and then I didn't run the numbers for everything else. No, check with him. Okay, so far good, good, good. Mm -hmm. Just like I said, um, good. that's the blues. Yeah. Yeah. I think they're like two. This they're is like, like one of the same, like two sixty. I'm surprised they shot up. That's what I was thinking, two fifty. Okay, run it. This is all used. Okay, what are you looking for for this stuff? Very, very much used. So. All together, I was hoping for like 175. For all this stuff? Mm hmm. Okay. So that's 1170 for everything except for these and these. You yeah. taking 175 on that stuff? Uh, 175, you want it for this? Yeah. All right. That's cool. Yeah, the 1185, my fault. No and then that's without the, um, the bread toes and of course, the bones for the bread toes. Okay. I'll do that for you, which is seventeen thirty-five. You wanna do a side swap? I'll I'll do the side swap uh, for twenty-five. All right, fellas. Um. All right. Thanks, guys. No problem, man. Nice meeting you, man. I'm and just then I'll, so, I'll okay. take the twenty-five off to seventeen thirty-five. Mm -hmm. You have seventeen ten left. What's going on, man? You can literally we uh, we can we help you find a shoe that you're looking for in the four to oh, six that's range. If that's cool with you guys, I want to yeah, take no, a whole pack. That's fine. That's the, like I said, that's the eight, ten and a half. I believe this is the nine. So yeah, if yeah, you want to take the nine and a half as well, you can do that too. Is there a big price difference? Uh, probably the same, honestly. Just trying to let you choose the sizes, honestly. Appreciate it. Uh, uh, we got ten and a half, yeah, eight, nine. Mm -hmm. Let's just keep it like you. Okay, yeah, let, let me get through the yeah. others. Yeah. That's the nine. These are clean. I haven't seen these ones in person. Yet. That's like my least favorite out of the three. Yeah. I think I go here, here, then those. I think this is still my least favorite, but I think I'm here, here, here. This one is more wearable, but the color combo of this one is like, it's like the timing of it. If it was fall time, I'd definitely say that one first, but just because it's like summertime and it's really nice out, I'll probably have to go with those. I mean, they're all dope. Yeah, no, I definitely agree. We just bought some stuff off camera. We got a size 12 and a half Dazzling Blue, size 13 Zebra, and a size 4 and a half Zebra. Shout out to that dude. Um, haven't seen him in a while. I sold some good stuff and some really good sizes, especially the 4 and a half. We don't really have small sizes in um, Yeezys, and we tried to get those sizes. It's a little bit difficult just for prices and stuff like that. We got a Yeezy 450. That's the, I think, like the Dark Slate. Um, we got a Samba over here. We got the white pair of the Tetra Pack, I believe. 
Yeah, got the white pair of the protection pack. Shout out to this dude too, gave us a really good deal. Also, he traded for three pair of unions, the um, the LA pair, stash shields, and the argons. Right here, we got some used Shadow 2.0, some U Fragment Highs, used Core Purple. Um, the everything here is dead stock, military black. Just got one in last week, red toast. Another Georgetown in 11. We got a bone that he side swapped, dazzling blue nine and a half. I feel like that's gonna go pretty fast because there's a guy who always calls for nine and a half dazzling blue. So we finally got one. So if you're watching, we got one now. And then we got a muslin in a um, size 11. I don't know if we have an 11 online, but double check that. But yeah, that's some really good stuff, fan. And um, we also got a racer blue in 11 and a half. So yeah, as you can see, the shelves empty. Bro is cleaning that. A lot of stuff is getting put up on eBay. We're approaching that 4,500 list items on eBay. Yeah, that's about it for now. It's around like four o'clock. And we just sold a CB, a CB size 12. What do you think? How much? You have no price in mind for this stuff? You give me a price and I'll tell you. Uh, these I'll probably hold off on. We have a few already. The patents, yeah? Yeah. And they're just super low. So these I'll hold off on. You got more stuff in there? Yeah, I got clothes. Yeah, I'll check it out. Under season, bro. I hope there's some shit. Closing, like for this jacket, what were you looking for? What do you guys do for jackets like that? No, I'm that's, not that's, sure. a, that's a throwback, so. Yeah, I know. I just want to see where you're at. A 72 high? 70 would probably be too high. That's a sick one. It's clean, too. There's nothing on that one. How much you want for the Kobe bag? Uh, I do uh, I do 50 for it. And then these sneakers, how much? I do, I would do, let's see, what, how much are they going for on Go? 180, that's new. That's a new price. Yeah. And then last year was 150. But then why is the 11 5, 549 and then the 12 is 430? People got them up for mad high, but realistically, last sold on. Probably like on two, the, it's probably like 250, right? On no. the 12 is 200, on the 11 is 250. These are pretty right. much dead stock. I mean, they're dead stock. These are, these are used. They're used, yeah. Yeah, they're used. Um, I think I might just be interested in the jacket, possibly the book bag. None of these jerseys? Nah, technically they're not real. So it's a happy town. So just the branding, and then just like the color, like it's not a Patriots color, you know what I'm saying? I love Patriots color. Like Tom Brady never wore this. Yeah, obviously not. Yeah, yeah. it's a replica. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so <laughs> probably hold off on that. Okay. I mean, it's a, it's a cool it's a cool one. Mm -hmm. You guys couldn't do seventy? Nah, I can't do seventy. What's, what's the best you guys can do? I can do thirty for the backpack. All right. What would you do for the jacket? Jacket, I think I just hold off. And I'll just probably be way off. What would you get for the jacket? Probably about the same, 30. It's a cool jacket at all, but yeah, I'll do 30 for that. How much How much is the Tyson shirt? Uh, let me check, we literally. I would, I would do a trade. For what? Tyson shirt for, well, yeah. For that? Oh, yeah. I'll do these two. Just for, let's do these two for this. I'll do those two in a 40. How about 20? Probably 40. Because if, if you're telling me you're going to do these for 30. Which is 60. Yeah. If we have any drafts for 130, I'll take 100 for it right now. We didn't list it up. Yeah, that's the thing. I'll do 30, honestly. For this? Yeah, that's fair. Deal. I'll add 30. So yeah. those two in 30. Yeah, deal. Probably better. Yeah, sure, man. And yeah, let me take that off the hanger for you and fold oh, it up. Oh, yeah, no worries. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, no problem, man. This is a replacement box. The four is on neon green. Oh, yeah. yeah. Blue tint. Blue neon tint. Blue tint. Blue tint. Blue tint. You said 230 here and how much here? Uh, 245 in UK. So I'm looking at two for this one. Mm -hmm. That's usually what we pay for mm -hmm. five out of fours. This one's a little bit trickier because for us, easy to use. Mm -hmm. A little bit tougher to move. Probably want to be at like 150 for the blue tint. 150? Yeah. All right, that's fine. You want to sell these two? Yeah, but so these, I don't know if you still want them. They've been ripping. They're 2012. And this one too, so. How much you want for them? To be honest, uh, I don't even know. Because I was looking at them like, I don't know how much you guys would like, would want them for. I think just because of this, I might hold off on them. Yeah, all good. Just because we had a pair of fours that this was broken off too. Mm -hmm. It took a while for us to to move so I think because of that yeah, I'll hold those going. Right. Um I'll be at the 350 here 
If you want to sell, I mean, if you want to trade, I could definitely bump it up. If you're looking for anything specifically besides the slides, um, I can see what else we have for you. Um, if you want cash, we can do that too. Like uh, that's Zell Zell's fine. Zell's fine. Yeah. All right, cool. So I don't normally do this. I'm usually in the warehouse, busy, but uh, today they want me to do it. So we are selling some Red Thunders in a size eight. There you go. These are going out. So shout out to William. Shout out to William. Damn. <laughs> in the mother. <laughs> Here we got a couple more orders. Uh, just figured I'd talk about some of them. Here we have the Statue of Liberty hyperposit. In the episode that's supposed to drop this week, we, we talk about the pink hyperposits. I'm glad to see another hyperposit sell. I don't for 200 ship. This pair sold for 140 ship. As you can see, got the Statue of Liberty in there. You know, this was, again, one of the rarer ones, but all the hyperposits retailed for, you know, a super high price. So it's just crazy to see them not go for much nowadays. Next up, we got the Fragment 3s. These are used. As you can see back there, got that yellow tag and then for some reason they have gray laces i guess whoever owned these threw those in there here we have a charles barkley he's been in the news a lot lately i feel like for his antics on tnt and fans throwing stuff at him we got the uh, air max 2 cb94s brand new size 12 we had these for quite some time finally selling so i'm happy about that sale next up we have uh what i like to call i guess the beater stacks me and evan have been kind of going through stuff making sure that you know we don't want to inventory stuff that's like cheaper or just stuff we're trying to get out quick 99 cent auction type of deal so this is one of them this is a Sacconi size 12 speaking of Sacconi's super comfortable sneakers um uh, so I don't know this colorway just makes me like stop talking I don't know why um it's crazy it's gold I don't know why I just thought like Sacconi should hit us up for a collab because that'd be fire I'd kill Sacconi running sneaker and I feel like I'm an old man now so all I wear is air maxes and stuff that's comfortable so that would be perfect this is a sneaker that I actually thought I don't know how it doesn't go for anything considering what it is here we have a Stan Smith with Savorsky crystals going through the back as well as going through the Stan Smith logo this, this sneaker sold for $65 ship 120 retail I mean I just don't get it like how does a shoe come out with a Savorsky collab and then it just sell for like half of retail just beyond me next up we got this Ame Leon door shirt again Ame stuff for us is a little harder to move unless it's a sneaker then it's easier to move this sold we got another t-shirt that sold shout out to whoever ordered that and then last but not least shout out to whoever uh paid the price on these 2000 ship no if ands or buts no offers no bs no oh it's on here for this oh can you do this oh i trade this but no none of that just a quick buy it now and we're getting them shipped out same day so so got the Travis Scott Fragment 1 low. If you know about the sneaker, you know about the sneaker. What's interesting is I know I mentioned how Nike was going to drop Travis Scott and all that stuff. And everyone's like, oh, you're crazy, blah, blah, blah. I see they just dropped uh, his sneakers. But did you guys see any real promotion from Nike for Travis Scott stuff? None at all. None at all. They just dropped the shoe. There was no promotion. The only way you knew about the shoe is if you went to the sneakers app or you had, you know, the notifications on. There was no, like, story behind it. So, again, guys, that was a very tragic event that happened that Travis Scott is associated with and you know nike being the big brand that they are clearly they don't want to associate themselves with any type of uh, negativity do i want those shoes i think i do want them air max ones i'm not gonna lie the more i see them the brown pair the brown pair i think i want everything else i don't really care for the brown pair if i could find those i think like i might want those in my collection personally i don't know it's just something interesting to, to note because we've mentioned that and i saw they released but again you know if, if nike's doing a collab with someone that they're promoting it they're marketing it that you know commercializing it and stuff and i feel like for these latest releases they really haven't been doing that obviously we probably all know why all right let's pack up the rest of this stuff as you can see here oh hold on bro and pan to this real quick you guys see we have a stack here i saw a lot of you guys mention about did i see a nike box with tape on it how dare you guys how could you guys who would do that you guys know anything about reselling like listen guys if you see a box like this or you see a box like this or you see a box like this most likely there's not shoes in them this is an action figure this is probably an action figure as well as this you know we're not shipping the nike sb dunk low pro prm in their box like this it's just an empty box that we're reusing because we love the trees and the nature we love nature here so we try to reuse boxes save the trees every way we can instead of throwing these boxes out or trying to just like i don't know reason for a shoe we say hey we'll ship them out with an action figure so that's to answer all you guys in the comments about that not that it matters but i just want you guys to know good business over here so that's not what we're shipping in those boxes the more you know finishing up here having conversations about glizzies because <laughs> uh jordan said that Yo, what you his favorite condiment on a hot dog is barbecue sauce no, no not just a hot dog anything <laughs> a burger chicken nuggets tenders, <coughs> no barbecue sauce on that 
Okay, but in I reality, know. where do you ever go and they have a barbecue dough? Not many places. Maybe it's a good idea for one. But enough about the glizzies. Uh, we got these cool stickers here. I don't know if we like announced those or whatnot, but um, we're supposed to have t-shirts as well in Florida that for some reason haven't shipped, even though they were supposed to arrive today. And I'm on the phone with the company going back and forth and blah, blah, blah. So we'll definitely have stickers. We'll probably have the regular Top Shelf Kicks t-shirts and hopefully we'll have some Orlando Magic Top Shelf Kicks t-shirts. Anything else that happened today, guys? Do you know what that shirt is? Uh, Devin Lots? Yeah, yeah, you guys, you know, Demi in you know? uh, yeah, yeah. there. Name, 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 name three. Three people. Oh, I don't, I'm not. I'm wow. Not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, doing bad. Fold it. Nah, fold it. Fold it on camera, bud. The question is, was Max be an official member of Diplomats? He was with Coke Boys. And he was like, he was with, um. Oh, with French, right? With French and them. I think he might have been for a second. For like a hot second, right? He was tight with He had to be because he was on a lot of tracks with Jim Jones. I mean, yeah. whatever. Also, free Max B. Free Max B, yes. Nah, free Max B. You need to learn from Bro. There's a lot of history lessons. Um, we sold we sold the whole pack of Union. Today? Yeah. yeah. Oh, he took all that stuff? Yeah. Oh, nice. That's what's up. Shouts to him for pulling up. Clearly, we've been making a lot of moves here, it seems. We've been listing a lot of stuff, selling a lot of stuff, trading a lot of stuff, buying a lot of stuff, and uh, it's pretty exciting. As you can see, daily we're selling a lot of stuff, and it's you know, all thanks to these guys here working really hard to help us list stuff for you guys, take pictures, do all that stuff. Nothing in mind at all for it, like yes. pr price-wise at all? I mean, I saw they were going like for like 50 This one. Okay. For like for half of that, 25. Okay, these guys? Uh, let me check both. Yeah, sure. Yeah, check what you'd be at on the floor so we can see what we could do. Uh, can I look around the store first? Uh, yeah, I mean, if you, if you can, maybe just try to let us know oh, what you oh, want yeah, for oh, your, yeah, yeah. your items. That way we can, you know, try to see what we can do for you. Like around four-ish? For each or two each? Nah, like four each. Yeah, I think we're going to be far off, bro. Um, you know, if you want to throw them on goat yourself, that might mm -hmm. be your best bet. But, um, you How know, you maybe half that each, probably. Mm. And for the shirt? I'm not really that crazy about the shirt right now. Mm. I'm kind of trying to see where, like, if we could make a deal here. The shirt, I'm like, you know, kind of is what it is at that point. You know, it's cool. But what are you thinking <laughs> on the shoes? Are you stuck at the four-ish or? Uh, I mean, these, yeah, four-ish. Yeah, I hear you. So, like, I these see you got them here, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. I mean, I could check. I, I just assume that we have brand new pairs that mm -hmm. we can't really get five for. So to, to pay four for a used shoe is, is kind of difficult for us. Um, yeah. Let me see. You know, they're 446 new, 380 new with defects. You know, if they were brand new, it's one thing, but technically they're used. So oh, yeah. yeah, lowest used, not that it's in the same condition as 270. I mean, you might be better off trying to throw them up on GOAT yourself, oh. both of them. But, uh... How much for that wall over there? Uh, what size? A nine? It has a cut tongue, right? Oh, nine and a half. Nine and a half we just got. It has a cut tongue, right? It does, yeah. How much is it? Uh, six fifty, seven, something around there. Oh, for real? Yeah. I just sold mine for like three fifty, with a cut tongue. To where? Uh, uh, Why don't you bring those here? You bring these there too? Yeah. What'd he tell you? I mean, like, no, I bought these over there. That's weird, because this is our inventory number. That's weird. No. So, so you bought these from him? Mm -hmm. Okay. How much would you have done? Because mine was cut tongue. It doesn't matter now. Probably more than 350, I'd assume. Ah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. That's weird. I thought I thought these were from here. These aren't from here. Mm -hmm. Hmm. That's weird. So I'd probably get 200 here, uh, 170 here. I'd probably pass on the shirt. Mm -hmm. You do 250? Nah. Somewhere around two? Nah. Nah, it's kind of like where I'm at, bro. I'll just pass that. Yeah, it worked. Oh, yeah. I like, I, I thought we were videos. Like, your videos were crazy. Yeah, we're trying, bro. I'll just put them back. Did, so you didn't bring them there to see what he'd offer? Nah. Really? Those, nah. I kept them in the What phone. about those? Those you didn't make an offer? Nah, I, I bought these over there. Just now? Yeah, just now. So you bought them just now and brought them here just to sell? Yeah, to see how much you wanted, yeah. <laughs> how much did you pay for them there? 350 So you thought you'd buy them there and bring them here for four? Yeah, like, just an extra 50 I wish, I wish it was that easy, man. So, you know, he just had some last minute customers and clients to take care of. It is very difficult to go to one resale store, buy something, and then proceed to go to another resale store and trying to sell that for a profit. Most likely, if you're buying something from a resale store, you're paying resale value for it. Trying to go to another resale store and get more money for it, most likely is difficult because if you're, you know, again, you're buying it from a resale store to begin with. So that's that. What was I saying earlier? I was saying that, you know, we've been really making waves, it feels like lately. We're at 4,496. 
six active items, 1,678 items sold in the last 90 days, over 12,000 items sold on eBay when I feel like a month or two ago, I talked about how we sold 10,000 items and now we're already at 12,000, which is crazy. And again, I'm extremely appreciative of all you guys for helping us get to this milestone. I feel like we're gonna continue to go up with content and eBay and inventory and all that stuff. You guys should all clap for yourselves and uh, pat yourselves on the back. <laughs> Berwin as well. The other thing is obviously we just hit 80k and you guys were you know talking about uh, waiting to 100k till we celebrate or whatnot. I, I definitely agree with that but I think that 80k is a huge milestone that you know we never thought we'd get to. We should definitely take the wins as they come right and not just try to say oh we can get to 100 and then once we get to 100 it's gonna say oh we get to 120 whatever. We should accept that fact and uh, the other thing is the fact that someone reached out to us to fly us out to Orlando is a really big deal. Obviously not every not all the guys are involved because you know it's only me and Berwin going but you guys should be proud of that as well because you guys have some involvement in why that happened right it's not just me here it's all you guys uh, pitching in I just want to get that across I want to wait to the end of the week but I got you guys all some want to set the camera up here oh, Berwin take a seat yeah, on the bench there you go <laughs> we have a lot more responsibility i feel like in here lately obviously as we continue to grow there's gonna be more responsibility days that i'm not here days that we all have to handle different things days that we have to answer dms emails days that we have to make offers days that we have to take pictures all this type of stuff um i, I i'm seeing you all want to do more which is a good thing right i don't want people here who want to do less i want to just work and go home and take their lunch break and go home like it's a regular corporate job you all seem to be wanting to do more which um i obviously notice all the time and i I'm extremely appreciative of it. So again, because we're going to Orlando and I want you guys to feel some of the goodness that I'm feeling that we got invited out there because I think we're gonna have a fun time, a good experience. And I thought it, it was just the least I could do. So yeah, who's first? I wanna go last. <laughs> All right, Jordan, you're going first. <laughs> uh, um, again, if you don't want this one in particular, I guess you can try to exchange it, but you know, uh, this is for you. Oh shit. Who's next? Oh, shit. Evan, this wow. is for you. No way. No way. No way. No way. No. So they're all 45 millimeter uh, Nikes. Holy all shit. All black on black, pretty much. Yeah, man, I want to like decide which ones to get you guys color wise, but I felt like if I just got the regular color. They were in the ice cream. So I was going to wait till Thursday, but like that's why the UPS no, called me out no. there, bro. The okay. boxes all had strawberry oh. ice cream all oh. over them. So he was like, you want to refuse them? And I'm like, honestly, bro, I think they're going to be okay. Yeah, bro. Yeah, this is I didn't crazy. know what to say. <laughs> and then Gary, I wasn't going to get Gary one because I saw he had one, but then I saw it was cracked. I'm like, whatever. <laughs> He's a college kid That's who can use an iPad. <laughs> That's, huh? That's the most Gary thing. <laughs> so he's lucky he was cracked, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they got some guys. It was crazy. But yeah, nah. obviously you, you know we can use these. They're gonna be beneficial for you guys, yeah, and uh, you. I just wanted to you know thank give y'all a small man. token of gratitude from TSK uh, LLC and the fact that you know me and Berwin are going to Florida. I didn't want you guys to forget. Bro. Obviously we're going to Florida because of all you guys. Yeah, check them out. They should be all good. Thank you, bro. I got one too, guys. <laughs> I got one, bro. Yeah, oh, I, <laughs> you know, I could have went crazy like picking series seven, but I mean we Nike boys in here. We it had to be Nike. Like I wasn't gonna like not get the Nike jump. This one. Wow. Yeah, it should all be midnight with the um with the black strap. I was thinking of doing the Nike strap, the other one, but this one's more breathable and shit. Oh, this is sick. Bro. That's sick. I, I really appreciate it. Yeah, that ass. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Don't, 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 don't jump in the lake like or. or oh yeah, no, 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 don't do that. <laughs> but yeah, they're all Deep brand new, that. man. Look at how all the boxes came. Hey, hey wow. yo. So that's why he called me out, and he's just uh, like, so at first he's like, yo, you get I iPhones? I'm like, nah, why? He's like, oh, I, I think we have an issue. And I thought they got stolen, but he just shows me the shelf and it just all smothered in ice cream. But it was all at the bottom of the box. And I'm like, it's probably fine. Again, uh, shouts to everyone for the support. Obviously, without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do stuff like this. Since I reviewed the video, I realized that I said I have to shoot it from back here. So it's only right, guys. Anything for the people, guys, before we go? Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. TSK, Thank guys. You. Shouts to all y'all. Shouts to whoever's pulling up. We appreciate it. One and done. See you guys next time. Ah! Peace.
YouTube, we're here. As you can see, we have some orders. Kobe shirt, Top Shelf shirt. We got these Grateful Deads, brand new. Patchworks, brand new. Zebras, brand new. Shout out to the dude, size 13 from Australia. He's been buying a bunch of uh, dead stock Yeezys from us, so we definitely appreciate that. Red 11's brand new. Smoke pair of Off-White 5. Neymar shocks, which I honestly think are pretty sweet. I don't think he's with Nike or Jordan anymore, so that's, you know, a little rarer there. Got these Supreme Vans and some cool hats. And that's about it. Other than that, I'm a little upset. I've been trying to get these uh, t-shirts. They were supposed to get delivered like yesterday. They're not here. No one's really being too responsive from the company about like where the hell they are. So hopefully they arrive in Florida on time. Also, I have to pack a box today to ship it out to Florida to hopefully arrives Friday. So yeah, I'm a little stressed out at the moment. Anything else, guys? It's cool to see that Kobe shirt sell because we've had it for a long time and every time we you know, give the price to people, they kind of just trip on it. So it's cool to see that shirt go. The best you hear is Bread 11s, obviously, but that's it. <laughs> That's it. The way you said it was hilarious. That off our five was kind of surprising when I walked in because I didn't see it. It was on GOAT, but we just had one in the cut. It's pretty smoke, and it's crazy to see what someone would pay for a smoke off white five. Is that the desert we just got last week? Yeah. That's what I mean, you were buying. <laughs> Bro, we gang. It was grateful that's finally happy to see those go to size seven. That size is really, really hard to move and like high price items, stuff like that. But a really good selection, like the Seattle hat. And shout out to the person who copped the uh, TSK t shirt. Yeah, that's about it. I'm working on content today, working on listing, shipping, all types of fun stuff. So hopefully today goes smoothly and let's see what happens. Like we got a, a package here from somebody in Florida. I have no idea what's inside, so we're going to look at it real quick. Again, guys, you know, thanks to everyone who sends us stuff. We really appreciate it of it so I have no idea what this is I see one item jeez oh oh wait did he oh this is the trade for the uh, far outs wow TSK crew thanks for all the content and for the help along the way I'm a small time reseller here in Florida and sell antiques and collectibles but the hustle is still the same that's for damn sure hustles for the same in anything that you sell or do business wise or whatever much love and respect you all are real ones and be blessing the people with knowledge we try our best over here man we really appreciate it thanks Chris C aka dude Aaron helped with the Godzilla Barkley shirt Berwin helped with the Air Force ones he made for Gary and who thought Jordan had the LeBron hairline, but because of all the hats, but was very wrong. <laughs> Shout out to Chris C. He was wrong about the hairline, so we, we appreciate you, Chris C. Chris C threw some cool things in here. First up, we got the Chappelle Show DVD, which is pretty awesome because if you remember when this came out, it was like so funny. And I feel like we waited like every week for a new episode just so I can go to school and talk about how funny it was. So, shouts to him for that. Here we have a Ziploc bag with some comic books inside, as well as some Garbage Pail Kids, which are really cool. Wow, peep this X Force com. Ooh. This Spawn comic is pretty fire right here. Man, shout out to you, Chrissy. We, we greatly appreciate it. And then we get to the nitty gritty. Boom. So I said that I was looking for these in Florida, but now I don't really have to look for them in Florida because of Chris C. So shout out to you, Chris C. I'm going to keep these in my personal collection. Did I talk about these on an episode yet? I think these are a really good shoe, guys. I mean, I think I heard Berwin and Jordan talking about how, you know, you want a military blue four and, and they don't give it to you and they give you something else. But um, I just think the quality on this sneaker is just like kind of blows me away, honestly. I feel like they could have got away easily doing this sneaker a lot worse quality wise. I mean, this leather feels really nice to me. This suede is like, it's not soft, but it's the type of material that I feel like will last. I mean, black, white, gray. I mean, you know, perfect everyday sneaker if you ask me until, you know, they start hurting your feet because fours aren't the most comfortable but i'm a fan of them i don't see the price shooting up too quick yet like i think it's going to take some time the reason i think it's going to take some time is like i think the market on everything is down right now obviously if you guys watch stock market or housing market, like just every market seems to be down other than like the car market top shelf uh what shoe do you have and what shoe do you need i have the home runners list immense eight i want the same exact shoe just in immense nine because they're too small um sorry i don't think we have those all right thank you no problem so yeah, back to these. I mean, I think it's going to take a long time for this sneaker to go up. I think they made a lot of pairs, but I think the quality is really nice. And uh, it's definitely a sneaker that I want to double up on. Speaking of double up, those white cement threes that they're saying are going to come out. Jeez, like I'm going to probably have to buy 10 pairs of those. If I had 10 pairs of like a white cement three, my life would probably be set. Like I could wear those every day. I feel like that's the only shoe I see you wearing multiple times. Like, like, it, like, like if I had an Air Max 90 infrared, like if I had just like unlimited amount. I feel like you could talk about ones, you could always talk about all these ones that you want, right? But I mean, 
there's a couple staples to me is like white cement 3 air max 90 infrared black metallic fives and then yeah if you had to pick like one one for me i think it it, it would probably be the black toes because to me that's just like the most universal one and i just like love that shoe so much but obviously you know i'm just talking just stuff that you could wear every day but enough of that really nice shoe so i hope you guys out there if you want them can uh pick them up let's get to shipping out all these orders yeah i saw the um i saw the ebay commercial man Congrats oh on that. thank that you man smart, appreciate so. it oh yeah how much were you asking for for him? Uh, together, like, just trying to get my money back, like, two, two, ten, two, twenty. Oh, that works. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. that's cool. cool. Um, uh, what's the best way for you? Uh, uh black and friend. Uh, you guys, uh, this dude usually did Apple Pay for me, but he's not here, so. Yeah, um, I could just text him your number. Yeah, all right, yeah. cool. What's yeah. going on, guys? Bro's back with another unboxing. Today, I have two themed packages for the trip this weekend. I guess I'll open this one first just because this is a less fire one, but still pretty cool. So right here, got a simple Orlando Magic. This actually looks pretty, <laughs> pretty big. Simple Orlando Magic competitor t-shirt. Probably gonna wear this over the weekend. And then right here, the package that I've been looking forward to getting this entire week. Oh shit. Boom. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Brand new with mm. tags, Orlando Magic on fire hat to go with the Orlando Magic tee. Now I think about it, the black off-white twos probably would have gone great with this outfit, but it is what it is. Jordan, any thoughts? The hat, man. Take a glimpse, take a glimpse. I suck at this camera thing, but man. <laughs> Super excited to wear that over the weekend. The colorway on this is, I've never seen a black one, like a black one fire hat, and the combo goes really well, like the red with the orange and the yellow, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the blue just gives it a crazy pop this is a nice one i really like that one sir if y'all see me in orlando i'll be wearing both of these pieces take a flick with me you know let's go <laughs> hey gabriel what's good <laughs> i think we said 325 on the phone mm. uh, 400 for the two and then uh so 75 back if you you these are both low these are going for 260 and these are on like 220 on the apps yeah so if i swap these i'll still hold the difference uh, just this. Regardless of what you do, you're gonna owe a difference. If you're gonna swap these for those, I kind of be kind of don't want to do that because these are low. We got a bunch of these already. I kind of yeah. want this shoe because it's a little bit different. Right. We can at least move this a little bit faster than we can with these. That's true. We got a couple pairs early, like a 12, 11, 11 and a half, something like that. And we moved them at one point for like 455. More pairs started rolling in. They dropped down to like three shot to low, our uh, high twos, twos yeah. drop to low twos now. So no, I'm, I mean, I'm not a fan of the pattern leather anyway. I, I got the regular ones. Yeah, we got the regular ones. You definitely need. I got those. the red toes. I, I don't really need those. So what would be the um the difference? Uh, how much I would owe? I would still owe for these if I were to. We said 325. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I like 155. 155 for these. I'll pay the difference for these. Screw it. I'll, I'll keep the tools. So you said you want to do these? Alrighty, shout out to Jason out in Cali. He caught the best jersey you can cop, like only jersey you can cop. A Chicago Bears jersey, not just a Chicago Bears jersey, but the Hall of Famer, Richard Dent. Ties 2X, really, really clean. You know, if you know, you know. You know if you watch the videos, you know. He, you know, this is a wise man right here. Really, really wise man. Shout out to you. I'm gonna get this packed up and shipped out to you right now. Shout out to um, Janae out in Connecticut. She called, she said she wanted these sneakers for someone for a um, graduation gift. She needs them by next Tuesday, but today's Wednesday, so she'll probably get them within like the next two days because it's only going to Connecticut. So usually when we're that close, you get in like a couple days, honestly. She caught a really good pair, honestly. The black bottom, photo blue nine. It's crazy because back in the day, I used to want this sneaker. Don't judge me. No, I like those. I used to want these, and my brother said they're sick. My brother told me no. I said okay. <laughs> these were sitting on finish line, and he was like, "We want for Christmas." I said, uh, "I don't know. Let me get these." He said no, and then I got. I think I got bread elevens instead. So mm. definitely an upgrade. There you go. The very now. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> so go with your fit on the Saturday. <laughs> That's more competitive than this fit. So let's get these boxed up and shipped out, so she can have them for a graduation gift. <sighs> Eleven hundred. Eleven hundred. This is the full receipt for the shoe itself. Oh yeah. Dragon Ball fan. 
Half of it is Dragon Ball and half of it is like video games I played from my childhood and anime like. But I have Sonic here, I have Tails, and I have Scorpion, Chun Li. Who's your favorite DBZ? Your favorite character? I like Vegeta. <laughs> that's my god. <laughs> like that's the. That's I like the way he's, he's the he's developed just the goat, lately. Guy. He's the prince of all Saiyans, you know. Yeah, I like and the way he's been developed, man. Yeah, like he just he's just always working. I think I like 750. Fifty. Yeah. How much for the turbos? I was at two. I was at two fifty for the uh, obsidians. Metallic golds. I was at like seventy five. Ordos. I was at like a hundred. I think the black pair. I was at like fifty. The blue pair. I was at seventy five. I came up to seven. Seven fifty. Seven fifty. Seven Eight hundred. That's fine. It, it's cool. Uh, what do we usually do? PayPal? PayPal, yeah. Okay. Top five. eBay was top five. That, that commercial was super. <laughs> See you guys. Fuck with it. Iron Man be easy. Iron Man too. What are you looking for? The, uh, the Stussy. Half. How much? Half. Oh, uh, retail. Uh, these. 67 bucks. Yeah. And these. Um, shooting for like 425 on those. Got off for 350. And I turned it down. I want one. Low is probably four. I'm four. seeing what you're showing for. I'll probably be less than that, honestly. What's probably what's like sure? three, three twenty-five for those. Nah, no, for three fifty. Nah, I still not too. These two, I'll hold off on. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, well, appreciate it. Yeah, no problem, bro. Thanks. Yeah. Have a good one. Thanks for the stickers. Yeah, no problem, bro. Have a good night. You yeah. know those are same two tens. Yeah. Um. We'll do this one last because this, <laughs> this, this, this ain't the right part. Let's do that one first. Let's do this one first? Yeah, I'm going to have to hold up for you. <laughs> okay, I'll take a bag, get my money retail. Yeah, let's say. You know these going up. I'm tripping. <laughs> I'll give you less than retail, but I know you're not going to take that. Nah, I'll take it back to the mall. Get my retail. What you want for these? I was looking at 260 That's what you're looking at? Mm-hmm. Are you sure you was looking at That's that? a fair number. Stop playing. <laughs> a fair number for who? You or me? That's a fair number for me because I know. <laughs> First of all, your media takeout should have ten and a half is the yeah go to size. I know that. That's a Boom, check. That's a ten though. <laughs> you sure? I'm positive. I could put a half in here. <laughs> <laughs> it's still not gonna make it a ten and a uh, half. Okay. I appreciate the love here. He put the boxes up. He said they didn't know they had a mom and I leave one. You ain't got them. <laughs> no right there. It ain't it though. <laughs> that one has box. An this actual. One, this one got a box too. That's a spare box. That's an, that one has an actual box. You said box. Now you want to get technical. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> now. Okay. Now. What you want for these? I know you want. That. <laughs> I know you. I know you asked. And me. I give you the bag. You need these for shopping. We got some brown ones back here. Uh, it ain't strong as Foot Locker. Better. What you want for these? Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that, Jay. Don't do that. <laughs> they got a 3X t-shirt or y'all sold out? Because I remember the last thing they said he was almost out. They probably out, right? Oh, I can double check. Yeah, check with uh, Ayo Evan. Go ahead. Do the walkie. Oh, word. You know. Oh, you got a walkie? Yeah, sure. After the video. After the video. After the video. Show the, show the, show the. Yeah. Let's see if Evan, let's see Evan rings. You got one too? I got the six, dog. No, oh. he's ringing. He's ringing. He's ringing. Yo, can you check if there's a 3X um shirt, TSK shirt? Yeah, let me check one side. Wow. Thank you. Federal agents right here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what, what number is that? Seven. Seven. Y'all balling up in here. Let me get six for these. Over. And... <laughs> yes, please. Over. <laughs> like a power <laughs> That's crazy. Now I'm going to a sneaker show. This is we get some wear the shirt then. Good promo. That just bumped this shit up. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want for these? Give me 270. That seems fair. Yeah, it is. All day. Why can't you do this all the other days? I don't know. I'm on some different shit today. Nice ride today. Oh, you feeling good today. Especially, I thought it was Thursday. I'm mad it's still was Wednesday. Yeah. It feel like Thursday. I though. know, yo. That's because I went to work on... I started work on Tuesday, so it fucked me up. My man. What's up? What's up, bro? Chillin'. How you doing? Huh? All right. So call that 250. Okay. What do you want for these? 260, I already told you what we talking can't about. do 260, Jay. 260, I go under retail for those. Don't say two, because that's just that. I got insoles this time, okay? 
<laughs> no, she has insoles. Well, you know, she brought me, I made her. What's up? You know that you get those. I ain't even gonna talk about what y'all could do it up for because I don't even do stuff like that. So, what we talking about? What's the number you saying? I'm looking at a huncho. No, absolutely not. I told you we were gonna be far off. Yeah, I understand y'all going to Florida this weekend. That all comes into play. I know yeah, everything. He's going to Florida. Hey, whatever. He part that's, of you. That's <laughs> he's together. part of it. He is. Y'all all together. Sometimes he's... I saw your face he, on the flyer, too. He's a, he's, he's, a, he's a wild guy. Sometimes, he, he, you know, I, I got to check in on him sometimes. I like the fit, dog. Thank you, thank you. Don't worry. The, the YouTube's going to get it later. <laughs> okay. We're going to get a full fit. We're going to ask this one out. I'll just send this down with her. She can try to do what she do down there. <laughs> What's the best you. way for you for this? Um, what's hell? Zelly. Don't say it's clip. It looks slow today. Zelly. <laughs> 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 I haven't heard that in the Apple thing. Absolutely not. I don't know the passwords, none of the scopes and all that you got to put in. I like them watches, though. Y'all doing y'all thing. Y'all got a package deal? Shout out to A. Nah, shout out to A. Shout out to A for the watches, man. Shout out to A, man. The dog. I got to spin that wheel. <laughs> Get my comment going. In <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Up here. Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> I, 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 that, was, that was so off guard. I don't know what to say. Back to A. <laughs> oh man, that's not how this works. But uh, yeah, man, we're wrapping up here. Wednesday, tomorrow's Thursday, last day before me and Berwin hit the uh, road slash air. But tomorrow we're gonna make sure to get everything packed. We did ship out a big box of merch and stuff um, to Florida earlier. We didn't really get footage of that, but you know, hopefully that arrives on time. You know, we both got our sneakers of choice. I like to call them the weapons of choice. You know, mm. you go into battle the sneakers you put on. I got feel excited, nervous. I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited slash nervous. But uh, yeah, I mean, it should be a fun time. I'm definitely uh, looking forward to getting another sneaker show video because again, you know, the last video we did is at like uh, 150K, 200K. So I think this video might go crazy. You know, I don't go too far. I don't get all out often, guys. So for me, it's going to be fun. We've been listing a lot of shoes, spoke about the stickers that we're going to bring to the show. So hopefully a lot of people will then pull up and grab some stickers. I just posted a video. I'm going to try to be more consistent with videos. I'm in the video, I said, I, you know, I'm going to try to film Thursday, Friday, Saturday and get that video out Wednesday, Thursday, the next week. So hopefully I can do that. But again, it's hard, but it was easy. Everyone would do it. Right, guys? Right. All right, cool. Who's last shot is it? B-dubs. Also, me. Size 11. This is probably gone by the time you guys see this video, but. Oh, that's used? Yeah. Let me just get the fit on this real quick. No, your toes are No, you can. Crunk. No, go ahead, bro. Your toes are gonna be like this. <laughs> go ahead. You never know. This is new, this is new Jays. They can fit different. I don't know. Here you go. The Varsity Reds. Varsity Reds. The country concert jorts. <laughs> the Chicago Tyler. Bulls baseball jersey. Tight. Hold up. Tight. Wow. Like the bull sack. Can't forget the TSK fit. certified Rollies. The Rollie. Like the Rollie like number is 97B. <laughs> <laughs> we go. One and done. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Hey. Oh. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube, what's up? Today is Thursday. Not starting the day on the best note. Kind of upset with my landlord. You guys have been watching my videos for a long time. You saw that we've had a leak in the uh, ceiling in our back room. Literally since I signed the lease here, he never fixes it. Finally, we stopped paying rent. He fixed it. The leak happened again. The light back there is just like corroded by water. Doesn't work. He doesn't answer my messages. Now the front door is like literally falling apart. I got duct tape on it. Just like not the best way to start the day. Especially when I'm hitting a plane tomorrow and going to Florida with Berwin. So. I'm trying to make sure everything is copacetic before I leave. Just not the best way to start today. We do have some orders here that I'm happy about, of course. So shouts to everyone who placed an order. First up, let's talk about these. These are the 2013 bread ones cooked to perfection. That was a 99 cent auction. It finished a little under $200 ship. We got flu games. We got the Northern Light All-Star Foam Posit. Might not know much about foam posits, but this one is super rare nowadays, but it's also super hard to sell. It took us a very long time to sell those. Reverse Ferraris, Cherry 11 Lows. Shouts to the dude who hit us up i believe his name is domingo for ordering these three hats we got some hyper royals three t-shirts shouts to everyone who ordered a t-shirt let's shout them out too real quick shout out chris from delaware shout out mp from uh believe overseas shout out to ian from ohio shout out to chad from texas shout out to jesus from cali we greatly appreciate the support on ordering the t-shirts speaking of t-shirts the orlando t-shirts hopefully crossing my fingers will touch down in orlando tomorrow we were supposed to have these like days ago but the company messed up we did get 10 percent off though that's always nice uh, we go back down here we got a supreme shirt we got a Thielen jersey hold on i'll take this phone call top shelf what's up is it aj it is what's up it's anthony's brother he's the birthday your boy oh yeah what's up man how you doing what's up bro it's gary 
um, do you have the um, Yeezy 700 V3 carbon fade, fake carbon, or any V3? The carbon fade? Yeah, fake carbon. What's, yeah. What size? How do they run? I don't know what size. They run really small. Eight, eight, eight and a half, nine. I think I only have them in like one big size, a size 12. That's it in that pair. Do you have any other V3s? I think we have one called the Kyanite. It's like a bluish, grayish color. Yeah, so, so, yeah, I like that one, but how much? I mean, how, how big? Uh, size nine. How much did you need them shipped to you or you wanted to pick them up? No, I'll pick them up. We usually have them for three, but honestly, I'd do like 275. All right, could you hold them for me? I'll come there today. Yeah, that's fine. We're here till seven today. Yeah, all right, bet, bet. I'm gonna see my little brother come to me too. All right, bet. Awesome. All right, bye. All right, peace. We also have a couple other jerseys to find. Shout to uh, get the sunglasses. <laughs> yeah, twice a met four days. It's always twice a met four days. Look, look. look. Yeah. Shout out to uh, <laughs> Levi for ordering this Kenya Martin jersey, a Mello jersey, and an Iverson jersey. We gotta get all three of those together. But while we're talking about jerseys, this is a sad one, guys. R.I.P. Marion Barber. I believe he was found dead yesterday in his apartment. Uh, very sad. Obviously, a lot of people think that it's uh, CTE related. Obviously, it's very sad. If you're around my age and if you're into fantasy football or football in general, you probably remember how good Marion Barber was. He was a great running back. He was literally a guy who like couldn't stop from one or two yards out. And I always think back of my mom never let me play football because the injuries that you can possibly get and growing up, I was really upset with her because I was always like a big guy and I always thought I'd be good at football. But now seeing a lot of people, what happens to them and also there's been like high school kids and you know, who, who get really injured or, or die or brain damage or whatever it is. So it's, it's very sad. Obviously I love the sport, but RIP Marion Barber, that's really sad. Hopefully the person isn't like reselling this for a lot more money. We only sold it for $35. I assume it's worth a little more than that, but you know, I'm not gonna cancel the sale or anything like that trying to gouge the price because we don't do that over here da -da 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 -da. anything else rp man barber like back back in the day he was just like such a dog he's one of those like if you know you know like yeah. a lot of people are not gonna like you know like, who's married who but was. like i actually like collected his football cards and like that was just an era where he was just like he was just dogging people and, and like, i hated the cowboys but yeah. i loved watching him the line was crazy because he was just automatic double yards and mad in those years oh my gosh he was like the truck stick like that was who you would use it with you know what i mean other than that i'm you know making sure we've got all our stuff ready for this trip i'm not really bringing too much stuff a couple pairs of shorts a couple shirts one pair of shoes that's about it hopefully all our stuff arrives in time and uh see you guys soon i've been packing up for orlando getting all all things straight and ready got a couple sales coming in just put the ebay store into vacation mode that means we're not shipping anything till like monday or tuesday but if it's coming in today we're getting out today grinches boom lightly used. I knew these wouldn't last too long. Shouts to whoever purchased these are super clean. Other than that, we have an issue here, guys. Uh, we had a, a sale via eBay. This was a sale right here. It was a Racer Blue 9. And uh, we shipped it out. Got a notification that for some reason it didn't pass authenticity guarantee. I was like, dang, what happened? Are they fake? Blah, blah, blah. Clearly they're not fake. But what was said by eBay was that the listing did not match the shoe sent. So they said the use of the sneaker was more than the pictures listed. You know, it's understandable maybe we shipped out the wrong used pair but guys down to the small speckles of hairs on the sock liner this is the exact shoe in the listing so this is just a very peculiar day here it was a racer blue nine exhibit a boom Racer Blue 9. These sold and for some reason eBay said that after we took the pictures, we wore the shoe more, which is just absurd. I mean guys look look at the uh, toe caps. Everything was the exact same. The dirt marks are the exact same. The placement of the dirt marks are, is the exact same. Oh, look at that. Dallas Stars going out. So, yeah, I'm upset. Oh, look. Note from eBay. We're returning this item because our authentication partner found it to be significantly different. Significantly different from the listing description. Now, did the listing say new? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because now we're... Ah! We're idiots. We are dumb fucks. It was put as uh, makes sense. New with box. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I could work around that. You got a buck? Like for credit? A buck for credit? Yeah. Yeah, I mean And then like you don't have to I give it well. That means I still have ten left over store. Yeah. Yeah, that's straight with me, bro. I mean I look around and shit. I'm cool with that. Y'all sure? Yeah, I want no clothes though. You good? We well, just had like a lot of shit. Nah, you good, you good, you good. Like, I try to flip that shit myself. So you said 100 here? Yeah. All right. So I'm cool with those then. So I'm, I got those. Oh, right. 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 so I guess I'll look around. Yeah.
I did a couple transactions off camera. <coughs> Start off here, brand new, eight and a half, Hyper Royal. The shoe plummeted, honestly. Like, it's really low. It's going for like low threes right now. We got these, and we got a um, Oreo Yeezy 350. She traded up for a eight and a half obsidian that we had just gotten yesterday, and a new size 11 Oreo 350 as well. This is another buyout that we did off camera, a big buyout. Probably one of the biggest buyouts we've done in a while, like cash wise. Like, we spent about like 3,500 here. There's a lot of good stuff, but there's also a lot of bad stuff but we're gonna start off here because this is like the first one here we get the tm plus supremes I really like this sneaker we got some pollens we billionaires i'm on my ears you know this is just regular stuff that you see all the time nothing crazy we got a golden rod they just restocked the other day size 10 and a half a lot of this stuff is 10 10 and a half with the exception of some 11s this one you don't see too often a dead stock pine green 1.0 this is a 10 and a half Regular, basic, black and white. We got a Georgetown in a 10 and a half. And then a Carno in a 10 and a half. This is an IE Low in a 10. Probably gonna put these up for a really good price. Got them for a really good price. These are Supreme Air Max, CM Plus, Reedies. I feel like this is gonna be a tough shoe to move, but again, it's something cool to have. Hands do go for some chicken, but you got, it's one of those sneakers where like, you gotta get someone to pay, you know? Market's all over the place for them, but we got them for a really good price. We got a Midas Gold. Size 10, a patent brand, the 75th anniversary, Chicago, Dunk. They just restocked again this morning. I don't know the name of these, but we got these in the size 11. Marinas, playoffs, and I think this is, let me take a wild guess, what is this? I forgot. Oh, Team Red. So, we got a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff to flick up, but again, some decent stuff, nothing terrible, really, size the patent breads and every billionaire in marinas, but we got them for a really good price, so shout out to that dude, he always looks out, <coughs> he has some really good prices, and he's always willing to work. Then Gary over here sold a, or traded my core purple 1.0 for a 2002 R Joe Fresh Good, we got that going on. That's about it, it was a little bit slow today. Who you got tonight? I low-key don't like both teams, honestly, because it's like, Celtics is the Celtics, don't like mm -hmm. the Celtics, but it's like, at the same time, it's like, I do like Jason Tatum, he's a buck. I think now he's a superstar. I think this playoffs, he's become a superstar. I would like to see him win a ring. And I kind of like Jalen Brown too. And Jalen Brown just signed with Down the Sports, which is pretty dope. Mm. So like, I kind of like those two players. But again, I can't root for any Boston team, honestly. I just don't like them. And then the Warriors, Draymond's annoying. Draymond's just so annoying because he's like the only one who acts like they didn't need KD. And you literally ran and got KD after you lost because you was about to lose to LeBron again. I think if you don't want to come out of game five, they win that trip. But that's just me. He's too young to know about sports and life. <laughs> Definitely not too young. They were clipping them with Draymond. They leave Draymond gone for one game. What happened? He's too oh, young. He's not. His brain's not fully developed yet. <laughs> um, but yeah, the guys are going to Florida tomorrow. We'll be here. The store will be open. It's pouring out right now. It's probably going to pour all night. I'm kind of dreading driving home. Oh, Chicago ones. We saw the pictures today. Oh, or yeah. A leak. Not a leak, but um, a teaser, basically. Burrow said earlier off camera he needed three pairs. I'm not going to lie. I need at least three pairs as well. One to smoke, one to cop. You don't do ones. That that means that means he's going to have four pairs because he already has a Chicago. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I wish I had a Chicago. As do I. I wish I had Louis Vuitton shorts. <laughs> I can never. Doesn't uh, he have the same shorts but in blue? He has Chanel shorts. Chanel. <laughs> Chanel does not cost as much as Louis. Just saying. <laughs> Chanel. Chanel. Still Chanel. So you took Aaron's advice and you said that you have your own business now and you've made over a, a good amount of like money? Yep. Yeah, just just myself mainly. I didn't have a partner a month ago. Damn man, that's good to hear. I didn't have a partner a week ago actually. Yeah. I was working alone for every bit of three years and I was still doing it. But now I have a partner. The only issue is the fifty. What's the name? Kick Steals, K I 
K-S-D-E-A-L-Z-Z. I even have a YouTube channel, but it's not very successful yet. But you gotta start somewhere. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. We're just happy to hear that you that you uh, took his advice and you're being really successful with it. Yeah, you do most of the work behind the camera, don't you? Oh, uh, yes. Yep, see, I did, I just, from your voice, I knew that. <laughs> and I've got some videos and stories to tell you guys when I meet you in person to show you that I'm not capping. I have been through hell and back in this last month. What was your name again? Dylan McClanahan. Oh. I don't know if you'll remember it, but I was the guy that answered and said, oh my God, you actually answered the phone. The first thing you said to me was, yeah, we answered the phone, man. That's what's up, man, for sure. I'll, le I'll let A know about the conversation we had and, you know, hopefully we'll see you soon. I promise you will. All Take right. Care. All right, goodbye. What's up, guys? Brun's back with another What's Hot in the... John. No, no, Evan, Evan. What's hot in the shop? What's hot in the shop? We always start off with Fit Rundown. Got the Robin T on, with the purple hair, the LV shorts, St. John Dunk highs, and the hat that has letter P on it because we're pushing P. Not much has came in the store except for a couple of shoes that I'll mention this in a second. But I guess we could start here. Oreo Yeezys in a size nine and a half. Got those in recently. These are called the Dark Slates. Yeah. Dark Slate 450s. These are a size 11. Super, super clean. We just got these and lightly, lightly used the uh, military Oreo. Oreos in a size 11 as you guys can see got a little dirt over there but overall still got all the stars and everything so super super clean only worn once and then over to the slat wall we got both of the Gundam dunks I think that's called the RXO's and then I forgot what that one's called but pretty cool with the removable swooshes and then up top we have guava union lightly used and a black union lightly used that one's uh used to be mine that one's an eight and a half and that one's a nine and a half. Oh, and we also got these traves these olive traves these are a size 11 as well lightly lightly used i believe they come with everything and to end off things these puerto rico 97s in a size 12 and a half that's what's going on today just want to mention that our glass case is actually looking a little empty so we've been selling a good amount of stuff like the union packs aren't there anymore we still have those twos right there so if anyone's looking for those union twos in a size eight we still have them but uh other than that i'm on florida tomorrow so it should be interesting and yeah see y'all in the next clip a little stressed out still like packing stuff up getting ready for orlando but we are gonna shoot out of here tomorrow morning Rowan and i just got a tracking number for the shirts so hopefully they're gonna arrive our other shirts should arrive so everything's good we were just all debating randomly about chipotle or Cadoba. do you guys want to put in your opinions into the camera real quick or no you say Cadoba, right? I say Cadoba, but I still want the Chipotle sponsorship, so I'll say <laughs> Chipotle. <laughs> I'll probably like Cadoba, but like A just said off camera, like Chipotle is so much more accessible. Mm -hmm. Like if you go to the mall, it's gonna be a Chipotle more than likely. So, but I still go Cadoba though. I'm gonna say you know, Chipotle. It's a tough one, man, because like I was saying off camera, financially it's a little easier to get Cadoba just because for me I'm a big guac guy. You know what I mean? You know if you need the guac, sometimes you might have to go with Cadoba. Accessibility wise, Chipotle is like everywhere. Cadoba is not as accessible. But enough about Mexican food. As you can see, Berwin has been getting. <laughs> <laughs> documentary so he can you know get ready to fly out what am i most excited for i don't really know probably just chilling meeting a bunch of people seeing supporters out in orlando who who watch the youtube channel maybe finding some grails i don't know definitely looking for more quality than quantity out there obviously we got to ship a lot of stuff back so if we could find like a few expensive grails that might be cool if we could find a good like i don't know 20 pairs that might be cool but hopefully like i don't go too crazy because we got to ship everything back how's today busy not really. Not really. Not really. We had a huge buyout today. I don't know if it was on camera. I don't think it was. Over $3,000. So thankfully that worked out. Shouts to him for pulling up and selling us all that good stuff. I would assume Jordan bought it. So it must have been good stuff. What you got tonight? Oh, oh God. Yeah. I knew that was coming. <laughs> Be honest, guys. I really just like, I'm trying not to even think about basketball because of um, how, what happened to my boy Giannis. <laughs> uh, but I can say that before we want to rewind, I told Jordan, I said, I mean, I think we both told each other that uh, whoever beats the Bucks is going to win it. At all. Problem is, I bet against that boy Steph Curry before, and I don't think I'm doing it again. So I'm kind of like, I don't have an opinion. I really don't have an opinion. I can say, if the Celtics do win, this is gonna sound weird, but I'd love to see like Tatum really just take over every game. Not like one game it's Horford, and I know that's team basketball, but I just feel like if they win it, where it's one game's Horford, one game's Brown, one game's Smart, one game's Tatum, it's gonna be like, oh, Tatum's top five. If Tatum's top five, show us, right? We wanna see like, you know, this is gonna be the time for Tatum to drop like 35 a game. And he's 
he's probably gonna have to because Curry's gonna be cooking. Who am I going with tonight? I don't know. Series wise, gun to my head. I gotta go with the Warriors, man. I gotta go with Steph Curry as much as I've hated him growing up. And Klay Thompson, that's a pretty amazing story to see him bounce back. Like he's obviously gonna be a huge factor in that game. So I don't know. Who do you guys got? I don't know if you said it on or off camera. I said I, I hate the Celtics. I just hate Boston teams, but I really do like Jason Tatum and I do like Jalen Brown. And like, I like the story of how like they built it through the draft. I absolutely hate Al Harford. Like I'm, I'm gonna sound like a hater. I do not want to see Al Harford win a ring. Like I do not whatsoever. Call LeBron to go, call anyone to go, but do not let Al Harford get a ring. That's it. I'm gonna say Warriors win tonight. Celtics in five. Oh, yeah, Celtics. Yo, you yeah. suck. That's what I'm saying. That's, I'm throwing it out there. That's it. I, go, I got words That's in six much, or seven. I, I got words in six. Um, I, I also have to say, this finals looks very bad for those Nets. If you know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to say it. But KD left the Warriors. Kyrie left the Celtics. It's different. Jason Tatum is like a, he's like a man now. Like, he was like 19 that first time. And then he took it, it doesn't look max. good, but it's I'll exciting. Max, I didn't even know there was a game tonight, honestly. I thought it was going to be like this weekend or something. But uh, I'm excited. I'm also excited for an episode tomorrow that's coming out on Friday. It's a pretty cool episode. I might have a flea market video dropping this weekend. We'll see. And uh, who's one and done? is it I a lot of pressure no pressure we all missed <laughs> <laughs> guess you're right one and done peace <laughs> <laughs> nah it's a one and done <laughs>